The world's great deserts are highly accessible, well-researched, and very diverse. Yet so often, they remain completely surrounded by mystery. They receive typically less than 10 inches of rain per year. Not a great place to be thirsty, but a great place to be if you love strange stuff. These places are packed with strangeness. This is early to have this much of a heat wave. From whale bone yards to video game dumping zones to a motel haunted by clowns, Welcome to today's video, Strangest Things Found in the Desert. Started building this uh, about 13 years ago. <laughs> Number 15. Clown Motel. It's been named America's Scariest Motel due to its clown theme. The world famous Clown Motel is a themed motel along North Main Street in Tonopah, Nevada. Many people are terrified of it. And yeah, it's kind of freaky. Some of the murals in the rooms are sure to give guests nightmares. But don't worry, there are also happy clowns, especially in the lobby. People from all over the world send clowns to the Clown Motel and the collection now numbers 2,050. Too many? Not to this guy. What do you do with a collection that has that many clown figurines? The story goes as follows. Hame Anand went to the circus in his native India. The thin 14-year-old convinced him to give it another shot. It scared him again until suddenly a clown appeared and transformed the audience's gasps into laughter. He was hooked. From that day on, he started collecting clowns. He packed up his beloved clown figurines and moved to Vegas, where his family owns two motels. It came easily to him, too, so much so that his brother offered to buy him a hotel of his own so his clown collection would have a home, too. And the rest is clown history. Now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. Where do you think this glowing crack in this giant rock could lead? Despite not knowing anything about where this photo came from, you can't help but wonder where this guy in purple robes could be coming from. Is it a sacred place lit by spiritual factors we couldn't really comprehend? Perhaps it's an entrance to an alien portal, and this poor guy has finally been freed from an alien abduction. Or maybe there's something in this crack in the rock that's radioactive, and the blue light could be explained scientifically. What do you think? Whatever your ideas are, write them down below and use the hashtag open discussion. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. The Desert Breath Crop Circle. Rising up from the sand in a vast expanse in the Egyptian desert, the earthen cones of desert breath seem like giant alien anthills, but there's so much more than that. Completed in 1997, the installation consists of a fractal spiral of conical protrusions and alternatively conical depressions. Desert breath was purpose-built to slowly erode back into the swept sands it was created from and in the decades and a half since its construction, it's begun to do just that. The piece may not be as large as it was when it was installed, but this work of art is still worth a visit for anyone wishing to see an Egyptian monument. From the ground, the full scope of the project is hard to see, as the site appears to be a string of increasingly large sand piles with the matching pits from which they were dug lurking nearby. However, when seen from the air, the full effect of the piece becomes clear as the 89 cones and 89 matching depressions spiral out from another in two geometrically precise arms that increase in diameter the farther they get from the central axis. At the center, where the two strings meet, a cone rises up out of a large central pit that was originally filled with water. Number 13. Bottle Ranch. Elmer's Bottle Tree Ranch is literally a forest of bottle trees, large metal pipes with bottles hanging from them, located along Route 66, right in the heart of the California desert. It was once a well-traveled strip of tarmac that vacationers traversed en route to the coast. Now it's a semi-desolate arid corridor of classic Kitschke Americana. Despite the free-to-enter, stay-as-long-as-you-like and go-wherever-you-want attitude at Elmer's, you can't help but feel like you're trespassing. At some point during the creator, Elmer's childhood, his father headed off alone to the West Coast for a job, leaving Elmer and his mother alone in Maryland. Eventually, the family reunited in California. Once together, the father and son duo began collecting bottles together. Near the end of his life, his father started giving away the bottle collection. So Elmer stepped in and saved what remained. With the collection partially salvaged, 
Elmer picked up the habit and started hanging the bottles on trees. The trees themselves are eclectic and the grounds, at least the main area, are jam-packed with them. It's so crowded with bottle trees, in fact, that everywhere you look, you see layers of metal rods, bottles, and found objects. Number 12. Gates to Hell In Central Asia, there's a vast desert in Turkmenistan. That's where you'll find this fiery cavity in the Earth's crust, a hole 230 feet wide that's been on fire for 50 years. However, the Darvaza gas crater is now a hotspot for extreme tourists in the middle of the Karakum Desert. Researchers donned special heat-resistant suits to collect samples from the bottom of the vast pool of fire, searching for signs of life. And there's evidence that life does exist in this harsh ecosystem. Believe it or not, back in 1971, when it was a part of the former Soviet Union, a drilling rig breached an underground cavern with explosive toxic gases suddenly shooting into the air. The hole itself was over 300 feet wide on a natural gas field. In fact, the entire area has one of the largest gas reserves in the world. It was up to the Soviets who created the hell hole to seal it up, so someone had the idea to ignite the gas and see if perhaps they could exhaust the gas supply in a few days. Cut to 50 years later and we're still feeling the burn. The fire still burns. This place has distinct honor of having the official title, The Door to Hell, and you can see why. Number 11. Eye of the Desert Some have proposed that everything from giants to advanced ancient civilizations has been found within the 30 miles that make up this formation. The hole might have been, these people say, an ancient link of the ancient collapsed city. It's not. This circular geologic feature is thought to be caused by an uplifted dome that's been eroded to expose the originally flat rock layers. They call it the Eye of the Sahara. Welcome to the Rykat structure in Western Africa. It's captured imaginations for about as long as NASA has sent humans into orbit. When NASA's Gemini 4 mission, a four-day robot orbit around Earth in 1965, they discovered the Eye of the Sahara in Africa's west. On the ground, it's about 25 miles across, but this huge and mysterious geologic formation is hard to spot walking around on Earth. Originally, scientists thought the structure was an impact crater, but beginning more than 100 million years ago, the supercontinent was ripped apart by plate tectonics and formed what's now Africa and South America. Molten rock pushed up towards the surface, creating a dome of rock layers, kind of like a big pimple on the Earth's surface. And eventually, the dome erupted violently. That collapsed the bubble and erosion did the rest of the work. Number 10. Unexplainable Oasis Sprawling before you is Lac de Gafsa, or Gafsa Beach, a miraculous lake of water in the middle of the Tunisian desert that appeared practically overnight. Locals say the lake had actually appeared out of nowhere. The oasis appeared unexpectedly in 2014 in Tunisia. The origin of formation of the lake is not clear. The most likely explanation that a minor earthquake had ruptured the rock above the water table, sending millions of cubic meters of water up to the surface. So when it appeared, news of the mysterious lake spread like wildfire and onlookers flocked to swim and cool off from the region's stifling heat. However, swimming here is risky as the water of the lake could be contaminated with phosphates. Phosphorus compounds are used to manufacture anything from fertilizers, pesticides, and detergents, in other words, all the dangerous stuff. Since then, there have been no further official news, though experts have warned that if the lake has indeed formed because of a rupture in the water table, the cracks from which the water could come cause the water to flow the other way and drag swimmers to the bottom. However, sunbathers have been posting photographs on their social media anyway. It's a popular place to take a dip. Number 9. Miracle Garden With more than 150 million flowers in full bloom, this paradise in Dubai has flowered into one of the region's most picturesque, sweet-scented destinations since it first opened fittingly on Valentine's Day. The cost of the Miracle Garden project was estimated at 11 million US dollars. Phase one of the project was completed and opened in February 2013, which consisted of 21,000 square feet outdoor facility, including vertical and horizontal landscaping design, where each of them has their own design. The development took two months and required 400 workers. Phase two of the project involved the 70% expansion, which increased the total area of the garden to 2 million square feet and included the addition of the floral clock, the butterfly garden, retail stores, and mosques. 
The flowers are maintained by reuse of treated wastewater through a drip irrigation method with an average amount of 200,000 U.S. gallons of water per day. The Dubai municipality retreats the gray water of the city and sends it directly to the garden. In 2015, the Miracle Garden opened the Dubai Butterfly Garden, the world's largest and the region's first indoor butterfly garden and sanctuary for over 15,000 butterflies from 26 species. Number 8. Underground Church 800 years ago, an Ethiopian king ordered a new capital for Christians. At 8,000 feet, on the central plateau of Ethiopia stand 11 churches, each carved from a single gigantic block of stone. No bricks, no mortar, no concrete, no lumber, just rock sculpted into architecture. Not much is known about who built them or why, but the faithful of the church says there's no mystery really. For them, the churches of Lalibela were built by angels. Christians laid their mark on Ethiopia before the year 400. They found the ancient stone welcomed the bite of a chisel. The churches were carved around the year 1200. Perched in the thin air of Ethiopian highlands, it has 13 magnificent churches that were patiently burrowed out of the rock on which the town stands. The churches only appear when you stand virtually above them. Looking down from the ground level to a series of carved trenches and courtyards that contain the monolithic places of worship. The churches are organized into two main clusters and include the largest monolithic church in the world. Standing nearly 25 feet high and supported by 72 columns, all patiently chipped out of rock. Further churches have an almost dungeon-like atmosphere, an effect only heightened by white-robed priests sitting in nooks reading from the Bible. Number 7. Mojave Phone Booth Located between Baker and Las Vegas, surrounded by Joshua trees in the middle of the Mojave National Preserve, there was a phone booth. It was by pure chance that a man by the name of Godfrey Daniels discovered this phone's existence. Initially, he found a printed mention of a mysterious telephone in the middle of the desert, accompanied by its number, and for over a month, he called it. Then one day, against all odds, Daniels got a busy signal, so he called back until an actual person answered. Weird, right? Then he went to see it for real, and sure enough, in the middle of nowhere, there it was. It was exactly as it had appeared in Daniel's fantasy, so he made a call to his friend, a very full circle moment indeed. But he didn't stop there. He returned home and built a website dedicated to the booth, publishing its number online. And inevitably, more people started showing up at the phone booth and the line rang constantly after that. Unfortunately, the phone's unbridled popularity became its undoing. One day in the year 2000, the Mojave phone booth was destroyed as per request by the National Park Board, and the mysterious phone line went dead forever. But the legend remains. Number 6. Giant Hand About 50 miles southeast of the town of Antofagasta in Chile, its monotony is shattered by a site even more alien than the desert itself, and yet undoubtedly human. A 25-foot hand protruding out of the sand Hand of the Desert is the work of a Chilean sculptor built in the early 1980s. What initially seems to be a science fiction item is in fact a 36-foot high sculpture. Mano de Desierto is a symbol of contrasting ideas. It shows how small, vulnerable, and helpless humans are. Weird as they may seem, this work is acclaimed all over the globe due to its originality and the emotion the hand expresses. It's surprisingly popular and it attracts thousands of tourists every year. Although it was built almost 30 years ago, back in 1992, and looks just as if it was made of sand, the sculpture is very resistant. The hand is made on a surface of iron and cement. If you're going to drive out for a visit, be sure you have sunscreen, plenty of water, and a full tank of gas. Take caution, driving in the seemingly endless salt flats can have a wearying effect, and don't let the monotony trick you. Many fatal accidents have occurred in the desert, as evidenced by the dozens of skeletal wrecks and roadside shrines. Number 5. Whale Graveyard The mystery surrounding a whale graveyard found beside the Pan American Highway in Chile has finally been solved. Scientists believe the remarkable fossil site, dating from between 6 and 9 million years ago, is the first example of repeated mass strandings of marine creatures. Hidden in the Atacama Desert for millions of years, the fossils came from four separate whale strandings, described as the most extraordinary marine mammal fossil site on Earth. It included the remains of 10 kinds of marine vertebrates. In addition to the skeletons of more than 40 baleen whales, the team found the remains of a species of sperm whale and walrus-like whale, both of which are now extinct. 
They also found skeletons of billfishes, seals, and aquatic sloths. The four different fossil levels indicated it was not one episode, but four separate events that took place over a period of several thousand years. What intrigued them most was how the skeletons were arranged and the fact that they were nearly all complete. Many had come to rest facing in the same direction and upside down, suggesting they died from the same cause by the toxins that can be created in some algal blooms. This is the main cause of repeated mass strandings in today's marine animals. Number 4. Underground City Welcome to Coober Petty, the town that lives underground. What began in 1916 as perhaps the largest opal mining operation in the world has since expanded into a subterranean community. It's located in South Australia, over a thousand miles from Canberra, the country's capital city. Entire bedrooms, bookstores, churches and bars are installed in the carved underground walls of Coober Petty. And after 100 years of living in these dugouts, the folks who call it home have no plans of stopping. Since its founding 100 years ago after a teenager discovered opal gemstones there, the town has been ground zero for opal mining. An estimated 70% of the world's opal production can be linked back to the town, earning it the title of opal capital of the world, and the majority of its 3,500 residents work in the opal industry. However, nothing about Coober Petty is for the faint of heart. For starters, it's hot, like really hot. In the summer, temperatures can creep up to 113 degrees in the shade, assuming you can find a tree large enough to stand under. Over the years, Coober Petty's residents have become extremely adept at building their own dwellings underground as well, creating customized subterranean houses that go beyond just one or two rooms into sprawling labyrinths that stretch out like spider's webs. Number 3. Vanished Video Games in September 1983, in the middle of the night, over a dozen trucks were driven to a landfill in Alamogordo, New Mexico, and their contents emptied. Everything was buried and concreted, and that should have been that, but it wasn't. A few days later, some curious treasure hunters arrived and found Atari ET video games. A lot of them. Word got out. The video game had been released to much fanfare the previous December, but had gained a reputation as a flop. Now as legend began to have it, were millions of these E.T. games unloved, unsold, underground. Since the burial was first reported in the press, there had been doubts as to its veracity and scope, leading it to being frequently dismissed as an urban legend. So in 2014, some corporations banded together and worked with the New Mexico government to excavate the site to validate the contents of the landfill. The excavation revealed discarded games and hardware. Only a small fraction, about 1,300 cartridges, were recovered during the major recovery, with a portion given for curation and the rest auctioned to raise money for a museum. But how bad could that E.T. video game have been? Bad enough to fill a landfill, that's for sure. Number 2. Sailing Stones Famously known for being the hottest place on Earth, the desert sits at the driest and lowest elevation in North America, between California and Nevada. Perhaps this desert's most famous feature is the mysterious racetrack playa, where rocks drift across the flat desert landscape, seemingly defying gravity. Known as sailing stones, the rocks vary in size from a few ounces to hundreds of pounds. Though no one has ever seen them actually move in person, the trails left behind the stones and periodic changes in their location make it clear that they are, in fact, moving. Welcome to Death Valley National Park, a legendary and bizarre place. Scientists were able to capture the movement of the stones for the first time using time-lapse photography. The results strongly suggest that the sailing stones are because of a perfect balance of ice, water, and wind, leaving behind trails as long as 1,500 feet. And once, a 700-pound block they named Karen, which didn't move at all while being studied, was entirely missing when researchers returned years later. It was over a half mile away. The rock's movement has been blamed on everything from space aliens and magnetic fields to pranksters. But these sailing stones are just sailing on science. Number 1. Hottest Temperature on the Planet What could be the highest temperature ever reliably recorded on Earth, 130 degrees Fahrenheit, may have been reached in Death Valley National Park, California, recently. The recording is being verified by the U.S. National Weather Service. It comes amid a heat wave on the U.S. West Coast. The scorching conditions led to two days of blackouts in California after a power plant malfunctioned. The highest temperature recorded on Earth is measured in three different ways, air, ground, and via satellite observation. 
Air measurements are noted by the World Meteorological Organization and Guinness World Records, among others, as the standard to be used for determining the official record. The current official highest registered air temperature on Earth is 134.1 degrees Fahrenheit, recorded in 1913 at Furnace Creek Ranch in Death Valley in the United States. Several unverified temperatures of all three readings have also been recorded that exceed the current record holder. These were never authenticated due to the equipment available at the time and unverified scientific claims. There are also disproven amateur readings that have been posted on social media showing evidence of record-breaking temperatures. But this is the hottest place on Earth, hands down. Who knows what else we'll discover in the deserts of the world? What else is out there waiting for us? To find out more, like and subscribe. There are more strange videos to come.